We're mobilizing our military and other forces, but we're mobilizing our military on the basis that we do have a vaccine. You know, it's a massive job to give this vaccine. Our military is now being mobilized. So at the end of the year, we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. Um, I wanted to do this quick update as far as, um, you know, vaccines. You know, some, some news, uh, which brothers, you know, already know of too, you know. Uh, you know, this is just basically a report. You know, as uh, Elder Pastor Tahar even said, you know, we're like the weathermen, you know, we report. And um, Habakkuk, the second chapter also says, um, I will stand upon my watch and uh, wait to see what he will say unto me until I'm reproved. You know, roughly paraphrasing. All right. Now, I thought this was very interesting because we all know that, you know, Trump made a speech yesterday about... Uh, doing this rapid vaccine force sometime in October. You know, there was also a bill put in play from the Democrats, all right, uh, which is H.R. 6666, and that's for them to come door to door. And um, now, now understanding uh, why, you know, military here, we're in this martial law, you know, like the real reason, all right, not for not for this C-19, but the real reason why military is here, medical military and their equipment is because eventually they're going to force this vaccine. And um, in this article, uh, it speaks on how they're going to also tag along with this vaccine an RFID, an RFID chip tag. All right. And it plays along with their trace, their trace system, their new tracing system all right so i want to read here a little bit and um you know it's possible that if if this is the case all right with this vaccine until they do give us more update and really tell us you know what it is all right um you know this this vaccine uh force can possibly be the uh mark of the beast force you know, it seems as though they want to put it all in one. All right. So anyway, as you see here from the title. Oh, also too, the video, like I said, is Ali Jones in there. If I didn't say it before, um, I seen him, um, you know, speak on this. So I'm going to just use a little bit of his information. All right. Because it's uh, pertaining to uh, truth. So it says uh, America military vaccine mandate Department of Defense purchasing 500 million API jet strains to inject every person in america with coronavirus vaccine all right so their plan is you know not for you to get vitamin c not to take care of your body you know and keep your immune system up they want this uh this vaccine to be your savior you know so that you can go back into the world and do what you do and go back to your life because the real uh the real mission from these elites, these Rothschilds, all right, because that's who pulls the strings, all right, and pushes the buttons and call the shots. The real deal is that they want to track you. They want to put tags in you, which is that mark of the beast, all right? And by the way that they can force this vaccine due, due to the uh, fear of the cold, the C-19 virus, all right, you know, they can implement it, and they're doing it, all right? We are in their new world government order. OK, so anyway, as I read the title, um, I'm going to leave the links. I'm not going to read all of this. But what I want to what I do want to read is this. Now, it says the API jet strains come with an optional RFID tag so that the healthcare workers can track the GPS location and identity of the individual being injected. All right. It says with an optional RFID slash NFC tag, it says on each BFS pre-filled strain, 
API Jack will make this possible before giving an injection. The healthcare worker will be able to launch a free mobile app and tap the pre-filled string on their phones, capturing the NFC tag's unique serial number, GPS location, and date slash time. The app then uploads the data to a to a government selected cloud database. Aggregated injection data provides health administrators and involving real-time injection map. All right, so you know I, their goal, according to this art, this uh, this article, you know, until they do any other updates, all right, any other news that come out about this vaccine, according to this article, is that they want to, you know, uh, attach this uh, tag to you, you know, and it makes sense because if they're gonna do this tracing system where they assign uh, people to come to your home and check on you and, you know, tell you you got to go to the doctors and this, this and that, this and that, how are they going to be able to do that? All right. You're going to have to have a tag. They want to uh, basically link you to this database, this injection map. You know, they could pull up this injection map and could tell, you know, where you at, you know, where you been. All right. Are you at home? Are you at the store? And they come right to you. Don't be surprised, people, that when they get this vaccination and take this chip, all right, according to this article, you know, you could be at the supermarket and they'll roll up on you. How you doing, Miss Johnson? <laughs> you know, yeah, we need to speak to you, <laughs> you know, and take you from there. All right. So, you know, according to this article, all right, they want to put an API jack string. All right, a RFID tag attached to the vaccine. All right, that's how you know it's Satan, man. So um, let me go to this other article real quick. This DOD. All right, I saw this too. It says DOD awarded a hundred and thirty-eight million contract for pre-filled strings. To pre in preparation for COVID-19 vaccine. It says the Department of Defense was awarded a $138 million contract to create a supply chain for pre-filled strains in preparation for a coronavirus vaccine. It says the contract was awarded to APIJAC System America for Project Jumpstart and Rapid USA. Now, this is what Trump was talking about. Having the medical military, all right, do a rapid run in October, all right, to vaccine everyone. It says, which will dramatically expand U.S. production capability for domestically manufactured medical grade injection devices beginning in October 2020. The DOD says this move will prepare a domestic supply chain that's suitable for combating COVID-19 when a safe and proven vaccine becomes available. All right. Um, it says through the project, facilities will be able to manufacture more than 100 million pre-filled strains for distribution across the United States by the end of 2020. API Jack System America will also be able to build several U.S. facilities with the ultimate production goal of, of over 500 million pre-filled strains, meaning doses, in 2021. The facility will, will be built in Connecticut, South Carolina, and Illinois with possible expansions to other locations. All right, so there you go, man. Now, I'm going to play some of this video and uh, read the scripture, and hopefully, Lord willing, I hope you were edified. What nightmare alternate universe have we woken up in where President Trump is out Fauci and Fauci, where President Trump is going further than even the UN, the WHO are, even further than Bill Gates has, and is saying he'll have the military mobilized to inoculate every single American. Is President Trump trying to create hope that he's got a solution to the COVID-19? The solution to the COVID-19 hysteria is, as Franklin Delano Roosevelt said, not having fear. 
Because the only fear we have to fear is fear itself. This thing isn't even as deadly as the flu. They're counting every other death that happens as COVID-19. It's all confirmed. That's why they can cycle it up and cycle it down. They can say, oh, we're getting thousands of deaths a day or no deaths a day because they chose the common cold as their fraud. And now with the whole history of vaccine damage and Bill Gates even admitting that this new vaccine is going to cause a lot of side effects and health problems. And with the secret vaccine fund since 1986, paying out over $4 billion dollars, people damaged by vaccines. And the fact that Trump promised to appoint a commission with Robert Kennedy Jr. heading it up to expose the dangers of vaccines. It is a major, major betrayal of common sense, of the Bill of Rights, of the Constitution, and of President Trump's most ardent supporters to come out with a draconian, unconstitutional announcement like this. Because the implication of having the military do it is, if you don't go along with it, you're not with the U.S. military. And the implication is, this is going to be a forced inoculation, as the Democratic Party, the U.N., and Bill and Melinda Gates have proposed, including the New York Times today, to make everyone take the inoculation to be able to have a travel pass to get on a plane or have a job. This is medical tyranny run by the WHO. And if President Trump goes along with this, he has made himself a true enemy of common sense, of medical freedom and safety, and of the American people. We must all contact the president however we can and Congress and demand the president come back to his senses and reverse course now. But regardless, they're coming with forced inoculations. They're coming with their HR 6666 with the contact tracers. They are coming for our freedoms, and we must refuse. I think we're going to have a vaccine by the end of the year. We're doing very well with the vaccine. And I will tell you something. I just literally left a meeting. We're mobilizing our military and other forces, but we're mobilizing our military on the basis that we do have a vaccine. You know, it's a massive job to give this vaccine. Our military is now being mobilized, so at the end of the year, we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly. And just you're just meeting. doing something with syringes as well, so that you can have uh, a plentiful, That's right. you have enough vaccine. We will have uh, the tremendous force, because assuming we get it, then you have to distribute it. Right. And unless you're mobilized and ready, you're not going to be able to do it for a long time. So we're starting now. We're of the assumption that by the end of the year, we're going to have a vaccine, and then we have to be able to give it, to use it on most of our population. Yeah. The ultimate solution, the only thing that really lets us go back completely to normal and feel good about sitting in a stadium with lots of other people is to create a vaccine and not just take care of our country, but take that vaccine out to the global population. Here, we clearly need a vaccine that works in the upper age range because they're uh, most at, at risk of that. And doing that so that you amp it up so it works in older people, and yet you don't have side effects. You know, if we have, you know, one in 10,000 uh, side effects, that's, you know, way more, 700,000, uh, you know, people who will suffer from that. So really understanding the safety at gigantic scale across all age ranges, you know, pregnant, male, female, undernourished, uh, existing comorbidities, it's very, very hard. And that actual decision of, okay, let's go and give this vaccine to the entire world, uh, governments will have to be involved because there will be some risk and indemnification needed before that can uh, be decided on. Right. Now, remember with Bill Gates, uh, he had that interview and he talked about bioterrorism. He said in the next wave, all right, in the second wave to come, which was which uh, Fauci about to explain, you know, Bill Gates said there will come a bioterrorism. All right. Bioterrorism. Okay, you need to look that up, you know, because what's going to terrorize the body, okay, is these, it could possibly be these vaccines, okay? Remember, this um, this whole C-19, it was not about C-19, all right? It was about, it's, it's about power and control. Them tagging you with an RFID chip, all right? So according to this article, until they do more updates later on, All right. 
you know, they're looking to, you know, attach an all in one a vaccine with a tag. All right. And uh, don't forget about what Bill Gates also mentioned about Lazarus. All right. Quantum dot. But basically, there's a basically a tattoo on you with this illuminated light that only a certain light can actually see in your skin. You know, so you take that chip. All right. The most high is going to destroy you, man. So let's uh, hear this video out. First go in to a phase one trial to see if it's safe. And you have very few people, 45 people within a certain age group, all healthy, none at really any great risk of getting infected. And the reason you do that, because you want to make sure that it's safe. And the next thing you do, and that takes about three months, easily, maybe more. So that's going to bring us into the beginning or middle of the summer. Then you go to a phase two trial or what we say two, three, which means we're going to put a lot of people in there. Now, we hope that there aren't a lot of people getting infected, but it is likely there will be somewhere in the world where that's going on. So it's likely that we will get what's called an efficacy signal and we will know whether or not it actually works. If, in fact, it does, we hope to rush it to be able to have some impact on recycling in the next season. Now. The issue of safety, something that I he said, phase two, people going to be injected, people going to get side effects, people going to die. Bill Gates said phase two, there will be a bioterrorism attack. I wonder who's given the bioterrorism attack. Who's, who's going to be the terrorism? All right. For the body. I want to make sure the American public understand it's not only safety. When you inject somebody and they get maybe an idiosyncratic reaction, they get a little allergic reaction, they get pain. Their safety associated, does the vaccine make you worse? And there are diseases in which you vaccinate someone, they get infected with what you're trying to protect them with, and you actually enhance the infection. You can get a good feel for that in animal models. So that's going to be interspersed at the same time that we're testing. We're going to try and make sure... We don't have enhancement. So the worst possible thing you could do is vaccinate somebody to prevent infection and actually make them worse. But you so it's possible when they give out these vaccines and, you know, they have these RFID tags, RFID tags implanted in you, these chips, which is small as a grain of a rice. All right. If this is the case, according to this article, if they do this, don't be surprised they cut on 5G. All right. And people getting sick. Because they have this tag inside their body, this chip, let alone the vaccine. So they're expecting, as Bill Gates, well, we call him Devil Gates. He's expecting, you know, more and more millions of people to die. All right. Just as well, just as well as he predicted, him and Fauci predicted this pandemic. All right. Years ago. And Bill Gates is known for talking about depopulation. All right. So just wanted to. Don't have a choice. People act like you have a choice. And we do have a choice. All right. And that choice is, do you serve the most high? Yahweh Bashem Shai, Or you serve Esau Edom? All right. Because, um, you know, this, uh, this, everything that's happened in this Bible prophecy. All right. Is Esau versus the most high and his son. Okay. It's not the devil. Who the most high, well, let's say it's not demon spiritual Satan who the most high created, all right, to be on his left hand side, you know, right, to do the biddings of the most high that works for the most high. It's actually Esau Edom that's going to fight against the most high and his son, all right, and this third, this coming third world war, all right, right now they're attacking the Lord's people, they're attacking the Lord's creatures on a whole, I should say, they're attacking. Uh, first off, the, the Lord's chosen, all right, uh, the Lord's people, the, the Israelites, all right, and then they're going to attack the rest of the creatures, all right, which is these other nations. And these, you know, uh, what it says in 2nd Edris 6 and 53, all right, we all come of Adam, all right, we all are the Lord's creatures, but the Lord has a chosen, and that is the uh, Israelites, starting with the elect, okay, Um uh, let me uh, get this scripture and I wrap it up. Uh, Revelations 14 and 8 and 9. These scriptures we already know. I'm reading it for edification's sake. All right. Because 
according to these articles, if you take that, you know, if you this vaccine hand in hand with the chip at the same time. All right. You know, either way, you know, we 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 tell you here at Great Millstone, start with our apostles, elders on down that not to take. All right. No vaccine nor no chip. All right. Have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And uh, those who will have faith will be the elect. Now, this is Revelation chapter 14 and uh, verse 8. It says, And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All right, and that wine represents philosophy. Babylon represents America. Okay? Babylon is fallen, it is fallen, that great city. Why is this place going to fall? This great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All right, because right now these elites, starting with Esau, these Rothschilds, all right, Red Child, okay, um, starting with Esau, Edom, all the rest of the kings of the earth, okay, Moab, uh, Ammon, and so on, they all came together to bring forth this new world order. That's why it's worldwide. All right. It's not about C-19. It's about power and control. It's about them sticking uh, this chip inside your body so that they can uh, track you. All right. So um, it says uh, because she had made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All right. Her philosophies, religions and ultimately this new world order. It says verse nine. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man. Worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high. All right. And the beast, excuse me, the beast is Esau. All right. The image is his system. All right. So you take that chip, that mark in the forehead or in the hand. All right. Which is just an indicator. Because when you get into the mark, okay, it goes into the Greek word karagma, which means something embedded, something engraved, you know, up under the skin, a device. That's the chip. All right. It says, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. In the presence of his holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. All right. So that means the Most High is going to destroy you. All right. In that lake of fire, which is going to be here in Babylon the Great. All right. These Edomites kingdom is finished. Okay. So, you know, I hope this up, I hope this lesson update was edifying. All right. I want to uh, give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.